It's not just a trend, but it's a race. Everywhere I go, all around the world, the first question people ask me Smart cities, at its most basic, are um, the use of technology to deliver livability, workability, and sustainability. That's sort of the base or foundational approach. What happens, though, is that um, a lot of different stakeholders will take different views of smart cities. So if you're an environmentalist, you'll see it as a green city. If you're, um, if you're interested in equity, maybe you see it as a sharing city. So there's a lot of definitions that go way beyond just using the technical uh, infrastructure to deliver benefits. What the council does is offer um, insights and training and best practices that have been collected from all over the world. So we've analyzed like over 10,000 case studies um, that our partners and advisors have provided us and we pull out um, the best practices, the things that really work. We find success stories. So the real important thing here is that Fairfax County is open to that message. So some of the things we're thinking about are, um, one piece of it is around data analytics. How can we use this amazing power of data to help us kind of determine, focus our efforts more? So we have a workshop today on health, on health outcomes. We're working with the schools and with our own human services staff to think through um, BMI data and obesity. How can we use data to better target our efforts in, um, in fighting obesity and get, having healthier folks here in the county? We're also thinking through about the mobility ecosystem. How can we use the various technologies that are available to address our traffic congestion issues? It's also a lot about growing our innovation ecosystem. We have a lot of this industry around smart cities is happening right here in Fairfax County. So we want to help make connections between um, those companies, government, nonprofits, help us kind of knit together all those different pieces and think through how do we how do we grow that industry and those and those companies here in Fairfax. Now what Fairfax County has already shown is that it's a winner. It has champions. It has leadership that is interested in making this transformation. We actually have a program that's called the Readiness Challenge Grant that is um, uh, we've done it several years now and essentially we have anywhere from between 30 and 40 cities apply. Fairfax County was one of our finalists and it basically shows that Fairfax County is further ahead than other communities in North America. And so we reviewed Fairfax County's submission. We saw that they were um, ready to move forward and that's why we call it a readiness workshop. And essentially, since I live here, I decided that we needed to accelerate that. And so today is the first step. It's not really the first step, but it's a continuation of the journey um, to transform the community.